After receiving your Dorner conveyor, unpack all items and make sure all required parts are included. The required tools for installation include hex key wrenches in 4, 5, and 6 millimeters, a level, and a wrench. For conveyors with multiple frame sections, you'll need to attach the sections with the connector bracket. Install the connector bracket onto both frame pieces and tighten screws. If your conveyor has Z-frame knuckles, start by loosening the bolts on both sides of the knuckle and slide the frame into the knuckle. Tighten bolts on both sides of the conveyor. If the belt needs to be installed, place over the frame now. If return rollers are needed, locate the return roller and with the screws loosened, install as shown. Then tighten screws. To attach the mounting brackets, first insert the twist nut into the conveyor center slot. Make sure the twist nut rotates into the locked position. Fasten the brackets to the conveyor with mounting screws. Fasten the support stand to the bracket with mounting screws, washers, and nuts. Attach the stands to the brackets. Tighten screws. If the conveyor needs to be tensioned, locate the tension end of the conveyor, identified by the tensioning sticker and the pinion access slot. Loosen the M10 headplate screws if necessary. Rotate the pinion to extend the headplate assembly. After adjusting tensioning, tighten the headplate screws on both sides of the conveyor. Remove cover screws. Then, remove cover. On the drive outpush shaft, locate the key and make sure it's in its place. With the screws removed from the spacer plate, attach the drive assembly to the conveyor with the two M8 socket head screws. Then install the four 30mm M6 socket head screws. Tighten all screws. With the key in place, install the driven pulley onto the conveyor shaft. Place the timing belt around the driven pulley and the drive pulley, depending on the conveyor belt direction. Locate the timing belt tensioner as shown in the manual. Tension the timing belt and loosely tighten the tensioner screw. Using a straight edge, ensure the driven pulley is aligned with the drive pulley. Making sure the driven pulley stays aligned, tighten the driven pulley taper lock screws. Finish tightening the tensioner screw and check that the timing belt is tensioned. Install the cover with four screws and tighten the screws. To mount the controller, install the T-bars into the T-slot of the conveyor and attach the controller to the conveyor with two socket head screws. 
tighten the screws. To track the belt, ensure the cam fastening screws are loose and adjust the cams until the indicator arrows are horizontal and pointing towards the center of the conveyor. Then slide the cam assemblies against the head plates and re-tighten the cam fastening screws. On the side of the conveyor which the belt is tracking towards, ensure the head plate fasten screw is loosened. Then, with the conveyor running, rotate the tracking cam in small increments until the belt tracks in the center of the conveyor. While holding the cam in position, re-tighten the head plate fastening screws. Fully tighten the M10 head plate screws.